Hello everyone. Today I will be unboxing and reviewing the Vike Vala L tablet. Vike has recently sent me this affordable tablet packed with lots of features. So, let's find out if it's the best budget tablet for digital artists. So, I will be starting with the unboxing first. First off, we have the tablet itself. It's really thin and lightweight. So, it's pretty portable if you are on the go. Actually, these days I have been taking it with myself and the weight didn't bother me at all. Next, we have the USB-C cable, the extra keycaps and the pen nibs. I love how they have these extra caps so you can customize the look and the feel of your tablet. I think it's neat for anyone who likes a bit of personalization. We have got the pen next. No batteries or charging needed, which is super convenient. It feels nice in my hand and the grip is nice too. Now, let me show you the tablet properly. I must say that I love these keyboard-like shortcut keys. These are super satisfying to press. So let me do it up close for you. The dial button is perfect for quick tasks like zooming in or out or adjusting the brush size. I personally think the customizable keys and the dial definitely sets this tablet apart. To properly utilize the feature of the tablet, we will need to download the driver first. All you gotta do is to go to Vike's official website, find the Vala L model and download the driver for your operating system. But here is one thing that you have to remember that. If you have any other tablet driver installed in your PC, you have to uninstall it first. Vike explicitly mentions this point. Once installed, you can customize the tablet settings and test out the pen pressure. These two are the shortcuts for your pen. You can change it however you want. Now let me show you the maximum pen pressure and how you can change the pressure curve to your liking. In the settings section, you can customize the shortcut keys that you find most useful. Now that we are all set up, let's test the pen pressure sensitivity in Photoshop. You can see how the line thickness changes as I apply more pressure. It feels pretty smooth and responsive, which is great for sketching and inking. I especially love the surface texture of this pen tablet it doesn't feel too smooth or too rough it's just the right amount of texture going on so this is probably the first ever video on this channel where i am painting with photoshop i have recently started working on it so i'm not that good with the software yet but i tried to paint a simple portrait to show you guys how it works. I use the brushes from the default set. Don't ask me about the sketch brush name because I forgot. As for the coloring segment, I used the hard round and soft round brushes. I haven't recorded the entire process but long enough to show you that the tablet works just fine. Slowly but surely, I got used to the shortcut keys and the workflow became faster and easier. I would definitely give it to the dial button which helped me increase the brush size very quickly. It was like the best thing.
anyways enjoy the little bit of the process i will get back to you soon
Now that we have seen how it works on computer, let me show you how it works on mobile as well. You probably already know that I'm going to be using IBIS Pentex for this. So you can connect it to your phone using an adapter. I remember last time everyone was curious about it. So here you go again. This USB to type C cable adapter is from the company Ubon. But I think it's currently out of stock, but there are other cheap options available as well. So if you are interested, there is an Amazon link in the description. As you can see, it works just fine. But I personally felt the pain pressure and stroke controls worked better on Photoshop than on phone. I had to turn on the force fed option to get better tapered ends for little details. If I compare it to the other pen tab that I used on my phone, the previous one worked better. Anyways, let me show you the finished result now. I did the rest of the work on my PC and added some extra effect on Ivy's Pentex in the end. So here are my final thoughts. After testing it out on both PC and mobile, I would say Vaik Vala L is definitely a solid choice if you are looking for an affordable drawing tablet with a bigger work surface. I personally like the dial function a lot. The only two downsides were uninstalling other tablet drivers from your computer and the pressure sensitivity issue on my mobile phone. Other than that, I am happy with the experience. Definitely worth considering if you are on a budget. And if you are thinking of picking one up for yourself, I have got some good news. You can use the discount links in the description below to get a deal on Vaikwala L. It surely helps support the channel and you also get to save too. So thanks a lot if you are considering buying from my links. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.